Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the uh, Awakening of the Rebellion Let's Play. Oh, it's been a while since I played this game, or well, not really, but played it live, I guess, in, uh, I guess, recording. And uh, I've completely forgotten what has been going on in this entire Let's Play, so it's kind of like another, another fresh start, I guess you could say. Um... Kind of bring you up to speed on, on what's been going on, at least with the mod. Uh, I, I'm still working on it. Um, in fact, there's been a, a little bit of changes recently that I just put in. Um, and yeah, I guess it, I don't really want to give out excuses for why I haven't been doing videos for two months. I, it just happened. I, I guess that, yeah, just no time. That's that's all I can say. Uh, and it seems like we have a, a fleet over Hoth and then we were probably about to take Hoth so I guess we could start off uh, and get into that and just Construction complete. do a land invasion oh boy there's 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 quite a bit of people down here there's quite a bit of people down here uh, but we do have Garm Bellibliss so I don't think it's gonna be a problem uh, he is pretty OP in fact I don't even know He's, he's like the most OP unit in the game, I have a feeling. Uh, yeah, we'll bring down all the heroes. Actually, we should have probably brought down a tank squadron. Uh, because now we are probably screwed. <laughs> Alright, well, let's, uh, I guess, move Chewie and Han to this next landing zone. Get us some tanks. Put the infantry into the tank and Luke Skywalker will lead the charge here with Garmbel Iblis moving forward yep just like I expected just like I expected this is just gonna charge me and Luke Skywalker is gonna deflect all the blaster shots back I don't you know it's weird because it's like I want to talk about the changes that I made to the to the mod but I just you know I don't I don't really remember where I last left off you know in terms of changes so uh, oh god, oh gosh, oh my goodness, there's just so much stuff shooting at us. Oh, we got the landing zone, alright, alright, time to bring in some tanks from the flank. We're gonna need them, we definitely need these tanks up. And we need Han Solo and Chewie to like, go jack something real quick. But yeah, the, I don't know, mod changes, what did I do last? Uh, I was experimenting with like some sort of, some sort of stuff with uh, reinforcements into the battle. Oh yeah, I'm doing the entire like overhaul of um, of planets like upgrades and uh, the upgrade text and like the upgrades actually doing something to the Black Sun. So yeah, that's like that's a huge undertaking and I just like it takes forever. I haven't even had the time to like get there's so many upgrades and planets in this mod slash game that it's just taking forever <laughs> and yeah um, I guess I wanted to talk about like kind of what I'm up to and what's going to be happening uh, kind of real soon. I'm, I'm uh, been working on a, a game um, with a we have kind of like an indie studio thing going on, and there's like two games that are coming out, um, and that's going to be probably coming up to, on my channel real soon, like trailers for games and stuff like that. So you're gonna you're gonna see stuff like that. Um, I might release a cool video of this. Oh my gosh, no, this tank. This tank, this tank is so screwed. I'm not even gonna. Yep, they have turbo laser towers, and this is my entire attack force. Gotta be careful. Yeah, there's probably gonna be like videos um, coming out soon. I gotta break through one of these turbo laser towers. Oh gosh. All right, all right, all right. Just move in, move in, and and take this. And maybe stun it. Okay, 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 okay. Move all the tanks. Jeez, these tanks are just getting destroyed. Oh my goodness. Alright, well... Move this guy forward. Oh, move all our heroes back. Move all our heroes back. Too, way too much infantry. And let's get this landing zone real quick. Uh, put on cloak. I think we can use this infantry now. We need it. We need it on the ground. We really do need it. To go attack some things. Take out that tower over there. 
use our, send our heroes over there too. We have the landing zone? Alright, send in another tank re battalion reinforcements. And, uh, oh, oh, no, don't get in the vehicle. Kill the... Yes, kill all of those people. Alright, we definitely need a heal station. We need a heal station, like, right now. And send the infantry for... Oh, no, wait, there's a mass driver cannon back there. I don't want to do that. Let's send Garmbel Iblis forward, and same thing with the tanks. Send the infantry behind that. This is going to be a hero-less mission besides Garmbel Iblis. He needs to go take out that mass driver cannon. Because, yeah, oh, okay, that was perfect. Killed the tank real quick. And our heroes are healing. Awesome. All right, we cleared this sector out. We have to go find that um, shield generator. Or whatever, power generator. Uh, yeah, our heroes are going to just take the time to heal over there. There it is. I do believe I did fix the... Um, although I haven't tested it yet. The, the Black Sun, like, palace... Um, being able to, like, power the towers and the shields, even though the shield generator has been destroyed. I think I recently fixed that. Uh, that's actually a really annoying bug. Uh, I think I mentioned it before. It's, like, super ridiculous. Uh, it's just... It's something to do with the Black Sun Palace and it being, like... Also have, like, an ability to power all structures, but, like, every time I remove the hard point, it still, like, keeps doing it. Um, so I've just been wrestling with that. Uh, that's a huge thing that I want to fix because it's just broken as all hell. That they that they have two power sources. <laughs> um, what is this? Oh. That's where they're getting their tanks from. Now I know. They don't actually have any tanks on the ground. Alright, these heroes, come on, let's go. Oh! Oh, interesting. So they do actually have... Oh my goodness, they have a lot of tanks around here. This is insane. Cloak! Jack the tank! Yes, extra tank, extra tank, we need it. Blow up that blow up that building first, because we just need it gone. Alright, there we go. Everybody move over here. We have main battalion attacking uh, all this... All these tanks. All these tanks here need to go away. Oh my goodness, alright, all, this bunker needs to go first. Most Im most important part. Oh yeah, there's gonna be a huge Black Sun infantry overhaul. Uh, it's it's coming, it's coming, cause they're cause they're broken. Cause they are broken. All right, get in there. Our infantry's getting shredded. So are our tanks, really. Luke Skywalker, get in the get in the thing. All right, we gotta keep going forward here, or something, or because this battle is horrible. They have a, a repair station down here. We're losing so many tanks. I didn't. Ex oh my goodness! And they even sniped that one too. Oh, and they even laid down mines. My goodness! All right, well, just keep moving back. Keep moving back. We'll be okay. We'll be okay as long as we keep moving back. Oh, bombardment available. Uh, another thing I'm probably going to be doing is these these tanks right here. Uh, they're not the proton torpedoes are not going to be a thing anymore. They're going to be firing the regular like missiles that um, all the other ground tanks fire. Um, simply because proton torpedoes don't make sense uh, to be fired on the ground without a drop because they because that's what the Y wings drop and they uh, they look completely different. So there's an inconsistency in this game uh, currently with like how proton torpedoes work so and plus people don't seem to understand like this ability um, from what I've seen from other let's plays because I've been watching a lot of let's plays of this mod and just figuring out what people understand and don't understand and, and this feature is the most like people don't get what this does uh, which is weird um, but I guess I could see where they're coming from considering the torpedoes only shoot forward and so you have to kind of like angle your tank forward oh <laughs> that guy just ate shit um, okay, yeah, we're not gonna even bother with that. Like, we're just gonna bomb it from orbit, because, yeah. <laughs> yeah, massive destruction. And we take it over.
There's the last like infantry over here that we need to kill. And hopefully that's everybody now. But it's probably not. There's some more infantry. Oh, lots of infantry. Still around. Alright. Oh, repair station. Probably a tank near it. Or not. Okay. Just hunting down stuff. Is there like another building back here or something? Did I miss? I think I missed something. I think there is another building back there. Gotta go check that out. Ah, yes! So, okay, so I did fix it, because it just took out the, uh... The, uh, towers. There you go! Live playtest! And it works! So, yeah, so now we just have to kill this thing. I don't know, um, I wanted to actually ask about this. Um, would you guys prefer that the buildings in this mod, um, died quicker? Or... Is the current health okay, or does it need a nerf? Because I, in my opinion, I was looking at this and I was playing it, and and uh, the time it takes to kill buildings just is really long and really not fun, um, unless you have like a hero like Luke Skywalker that just insta kills it like that. Um, but yeah, I, I was just wondering what you guys think on that subject. Oh please, Chewie, don't die after the last. Oh my gosh, their health levels. Oh goodness. All right. Well, we took Hoth. I think that took us... It took us two months to take Hoth. Hoth was a very hard planet to take, man. I just have to say... Okay, let's put everybody up in orbit. I can't believe we lost that much stuff. And that means we don't have an assault force for the rest of uh, Bespin or anything like that. So that means we need to like start using the 29,000 credits, apparently, that I own. Oh, let's build a mine there. Um... Oh yeah, the New Republic. Uh, they don't get that much choices in terms of ground forces anymore. Uh, which I actually patched out, except it didn't up update on this old save. Um, so yeah, that's that's weird. Anyways, uh, so the core worlds here. I'm wondering what's going on. It's like, oh, there's all these things I can buy here. Yes. I'm pretty sure I fixed trained rebel infantry. Uh, they don't seem to... They don't seem to bug anymore. Um, they're still weird on the ground. They have weird like walking physics. Like they don't really walk that well together, uh, which is which is something I have very little experience in. And maybe I don't know. Infantry is not something I really do much. Uh, so yeah, when I'm going to be redoing the Black Sun infantry, I'm I'm I'm, I'm I have a feeling I I'm, I'm going to learn a lot about infantry in general. Um, so that's going to be cool. Oh, they have a hyper velocity cannon here and a crap load of stuff. I really want to take this though. That means I can take Alderaan. Well, not actually. I don't know if that'll help anybody. I need to attack something though. I I think Bespin is the best thing to attack. Like just keep going around the outside core. But at the same time, we have this big problem here, and I don't have a fleet besides this one. What's on Cor Corlog's super defended, and so is this. Um, I know this planet is going to be wow. Okay, I was going to say it's going to be pretty easy. Uh, turns out it's not. I think we should just take Balmora. I think we should just do it. That'll prevent any attacks from Quat, and we do have a good, sizable land invasion force to take it. So let's see. Let's build some stuff on Coruscant. Um, what do we leave behind? That's the question. Because we don't want to get attacked either. But we can't do this assault. I think we if we leave the MC-80 frigate behind, we should be okay. Do we have any reinforcements at Mon Calamari? We're building stuff. I know that much. We're not really, like... We don't really have anything around here. Oh, Gorman is a great place to attack. Except it has four reinforcement thingies. Uh, we do have a f minor fleet here. Minor fleet there. Yeah, we really have a problem with just fleets in general. And this thing could probably take out a space station or two. You know what I can do? Um, I don't see myself getting attacked by or needing three ships to defend. So I'm going to bring these guys over here. I'm also going to bring these guys here. And we're going to bring... We're going to keep the Mandador with us. 
and keep the rest of this fleet here. And I think that should be enough to take that planet. I think that's actually overkill. And also, they're like, they have ground troops in orbit, so I'm sure they're not going to want to stay around too long. And around here, we need to build a space station, I assume. And just build some more infantry around here. Yes, lots of building, lots of building. Oh, that's about to get done. Build another one, just keep building. What do we have over here? We ha I saw a Pinnance Frigate in orbit, and we have a level 3 space station. The, the space station we can handle. We have enough stuff for the space station. It's the ground invasion that I'm worried about, but they actually don't have that much up here. If we, if we take all these random tanks from around here that we definitely don't need sitting around here, um, we can have enough for another invasion force. So let's, let's do that real quick. And we can use this guy, or yeah, let's use him. He'll be useful on Bespin, transport troops around, stuff like that. So let's do that. Uh-oh. Oh! oh. They're coming in at quad. Ha 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 ha. Little do they know. That I have a force waiting for them. And Kalkatarn's going to assist in, that, in space. So yeah. Come at me, bros. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's super cute. I love One frigate and a bomber. <laughs> cool. Story. Except the, the, the thing about this map. I hate this map. Or no, wait, this isn't the problem. Bill Bringy is the space map I absolutely hate. It's the first one getting changed. I, I hate that thing. This fleet is insane now. We've got these huge ships. They're just going to retreat. Like, there really, really isn't much they're going to do. This is just here to just scare them. Maybe we can take out that bomber. That bomber squadron can sure use a beaten. But I, okay, yeah, that's that's what I was expecting. I was like, wait a second, are they really gonna attack? No, they're not. No, they're not. They'd be insane to lose that ship. Um, so yeah, so now they unsuccessful attack, and now I attack them. Except I should have not sent them as a group like that. I should have sent my Kal Katarn in first. Oh, there's the ship. They just retreated. So they avoided their death for a little bit. <laughs> But now they're going to be on defense. They're not going to. They're not going to leave this space station. I I doubt it. I would really doubt it. All right. Here we go. We have a fighter commander, which is going to be great because we're going to have a lot of fighters. Now we're going to move this forward. So given that we have so many fighters, I think it'd be a good idea to just send them forward and see how much damage we can do but we would have to divide hold on let's so I think we can kill that golem actually if we just give it a shot let's order these guys into groups um, yeah all torpedo ships over there all anti-fighter ships over here I still haven't fixed this six tie thing I don't know what, what what's happening with that that needs to be another thing I need to look at but I think I know what's going on. Actually, I just figured it out in my head. Look at that. All right. One, control two. Uh, yes, I miss. You know what? I miss my uh, my mechanical keyboard. That's just I'm using a backup because apparently, um, oh boy, it just broke on me, man. It just broke on me. Now the keys started like doing weird things and it's just like ah, rest in peace and it's just like I, I have no idea I've only had it for a year didn't expect it to just get crapped on like that but I'm trying to get a replacement alright all fighters come here come hither and get smashed and you guys uh, shield generator please Oh, 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 oh. Next shield generator, next shield generator. Also, all X-Wings support the TIE Fighters, or kill the TIE Fighters. That was beautiful. Alright. 
And the Y-Wings are coming in now for a bombing run, and we are going to put on ion cannons. And now we have fighter superiority established. All A-Wings go up here, including the hero. Go, go, go. Kill that stuff. All B-Wings on the uh, hangars now. We have I-7 Howl Runners actually like messing our stuff up, but an X-Wing has engaged them, so that's good. And meanwhile, <laughs> this is taking forever. And the Hyper Velocity Cannon hasn't even fired yet. Which is super weird. By the way, has any has has any of you seen the uh, Rebel Season 2 premiere? Because, oh my god, The Apprentice lives. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. I was, I was just super stoked. Uh, they're going in the right direction with that series. I love how it's a con continuation of Clone Wars now. Um, I, that's so super cool. And uh, I think that I think that the development team that worked on Rebels, or I mean Clone Wars, since they're working on the, this, the same studio, um, just decided to work on something different. I like how they can they kind of get to continue it, even though Clone Wars got canceled. Which I think that Clone Wars getting canceled is the worst thing they could have done. I think they should have done both. They should have finished the Clone Wars. Um, made that the last season, finish it, wrap it up, um, and have done like a couple episodes, to, like close it out before episode three, and and then just went on to Rebels. I don't know why they just like stopped it mid development. I think that that was a super waste. Um, people were super into that TV show. Um, uh, yeah, my opinion changed on it. I grew to like Ahsoka. I know I used to rage that Anakin doesn't deserve a Padawan, but uh, learned to like it, and it was great. Wait, did I lose my hero? No, he's right there. Why is he not up here? What is this? But they. Oh my goodness! All right, well, there's one left. I'm gonna rename this Shadow Squadron. I think it was called Shadow Squadron. What was the the A wings in in season two premiere? That's what this unit's gonna be. Because nobody knows who Commander Nara is. Maybe maybe he's like one of the fighters. But I think it'd be cool if that A-Wing squadron was this. Because this is an A-Wing squadron. So, yeah. Definitely going to become that. Doesn't really take much. And and I think I'm going to color the A-Wings blue as well. That'd be super cool. So, yeah. Uh, we completely destroyed and trashed this, uh, this base. Oh. Oh. Wait. Oh, <laughs> they detonated the space station, and I lost Kyle Katarn in the blast. Oh my god, I didn't kill the space station fast. Enough. That was yeah. The AI's uh, the AI's pretty smart now. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, well that's great. Uh, let's send this invasion force from Corellia, Quat, Quait, or something. However, it's pronounced, and then also Argu. And there's something approaching at intersection two, which is here, which is um, has a level two space station. Oh yeah, here. Uh, let's also do this real quick, like put Skywalker in command and send that out. Oh wait, what? I thought they were coming in at Bis. Or I mean, not Bis, but like intersection two. <laughs> is this a different fleet now? So what do they have? They have a Star Destroyer, uh, two escort carriers, yeah, let's just try and do something. Maybe take out one ship or something like that. I kind of want to do this just to show you guys the, the new AI, um, the way they move their fighters, because this is, this is something that I'm, uh, we are kind of super proud of. Uh, the AI is, feels like a human player, it's actually kind of intimidating. In fact, it's almost too difficult in certain points, and I know the mods are already difficult, and this just get, makes it horrible. <laughs> well, not horrible, but like, it's a challenge. It's definitely a challenge. If you're, um, even I have trouble with it, and uh, that's that's saying something, because I usually never have trouble with any of the AI in any of the mods that I played, or any of the, the versions of this game that I played. So yeah, uh, prepare. Prepare, because it, it, gets, it gets crazy. You really do need to now think a lot more tactically in how you use your fighters. And these guys are just rushing me already. We're not going to get anything done with this Lancer. 
So hopefully we can persuade it to go away. Oh, they have two Lancers. Oh my gosh. Alright, they're starting to build like... They have a whole fleet of Lancers is what this is. You'll get to see something really cool real soon. And how the AI command their fighters. Here we go. It's going to show up sooner or later. So you see how there's like a bunch of bombers? I wonder if they did it or not. Uh, I don't think they did it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Watch this. <laughs> this group of fighters, right? They're a little bit delayed and behind or whatever. But these group of fighters stick together and then attack your group of fighters as a group. It's insane. It is, it's exactly like how you would do it <laughs> if you were commanding the fleet. And it's in so like a bomber squadron will now be defended by a bunch of fighters, and so sweeping a bomber squadron involves sweeping the fighters that are protecting it as well. Like you see this, look at this. They're actually protecting their ship with fighters. It's insane. So if I go in for a bombing run, which I'm gonna try to do, all those fighters that you just saw are gonna sweep me if they if they get me fast enough. All right, space station, attack this. And you can already see that there's one TIE fighter already defending against the Y-Wing bombers. And see? You see these fighters defending all these bombers? Yeah. Good luck engaging those bombers now. <laughs> you need a lot of fighters. They are not dumb anymore. These guys are not stupid. And also, my gosh, we're already getting... Yeah. Yeah, and now the bombs are going to... And now the fighters come in. And, this and they attack in groups like this. And you're just like, oh crap. Like, I can't do anything. And then the rest of the fleet comes in, and you're just like, oh. So I actually need a fleet now, and not just a space station to defend. <laughs> it's brutal. It's pretty brutal. Yeah, and those fighters just broke off to kill all those Y-Wings. And now they're back to kill my fighters. This stuff is insane. And then the bombers are just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we gotta retreat. Hopefully the space station blows up in their faces. Ah, eat shit, TIE Fighters. Damn it. Alright. Didn't do anything. Alright. Well, so yeah, so they're about to attack this. Might as well cancel that. We need a fleet back here ASAP. ASAP. Alright, so if I want bombers and orbital strikes... I will keep the Dauntless here. I will go back with this real fast. Go, 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 before they attack Biss again. This core this core world is just like such a battleground, such a back and forth battleground. It's insane. Uh, oh, now we have this space battle to do. So, here we go. I think we launched Luke Skywalker in. Maybe. I think I did that right. Yep, there he is. So Luke Skywalker is in his X-Wing. Whoa, super cool. Super cool, X-Wing, woo! Let's go that way. He no longer has this like, ability that like blows up like a, a hard point. Which is kind of sad, actually, considering... Um, considering... That would be awesome hero if he did, but it'd be super overpowered. I don't know if it'd be a good idea to have that. So we have this weaken, weaken enemy thing now. And he's going to fly right over there. This is actually... A, Luke Skywalker is a great unit to, like, bring in first. Oh, hi there. He's going to pass you. Here we go. He's going to engage some fighters. And as he's doing that, we're going to just bring in the entire fleet. Right up their butt. All the Nebion B frigates. All the Dreadnought. Bring in Han Solo. And Leia Organa, why not? Alright, Tantive 4 is in, and the entire fleet's here. Haha! -ha. Spawn fighters, fighters engage. Dreadnoughts are coming in. All the Dreadnoughts should it will attack that Pinnance frigate. Meanwhile, the big frigates are going to attack the space station. And Nebulons are going to handle the other Nebulons. And... Yeah, let's do that. Do that. And these Karelian Corvettes are just going to sit in the middle here and just do things and put these guys on hunt so they kill things. Super awesome. Awesome. And then maybe this guy can, like, do that. Alright, cool. 
So yeah, Pendant's Frigate is doing work, or I mean getting worked on. Everything's getting worked on real quick. Oh, kill the gun. Kill the gun. Remember to kill the gun. To kill the gun. It's important. It's important. Okay. Good. Good. Very good. And Luke Skywalker is just chilling around here, so let's send him on this... On the pinnance. Yeah, this was... The, we, we made short work of them. This pinnance is taking forever, even with four Dreadnought firing on him. Turn on all power to weapons. All power to weapons. Let's use the Corvettes and use them as an assist. Oh, no, we don't want that. It's so weird selecting. It's like there's three different heroes here. Don't let him escape. Don't let him escape. Kill the engines. What? Oh, that was brutal. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, well, we didn't kill it. That's okay, though. Uh, we'll bring in this fleet of outer rim forces. And now, now, now we get attacked in Intersection 2 by... Um, captain and oh so two venators and two of those and a and an acclimator penance and four of these guys wow they're gonna have a lot of fighters i cannot wait because the black sun when they have a lot of fighters they also group them together so it's it's just it's just insane all right so let's see what we can do in this battle oh my goodness all right they're all gonna come from around this corner so we have I think we've defended this before and we will not have that much fighters we are gonna, not gonna be able to do too well here with fighter control oh and let's upgrade that too since we can we do have a capital ship though um, this capital ship for the rebels is not the best capital ship anymore it's actually not that good at all I think you need two of these to take down a star destroyer and it, it's kind of even with a Venator, sometimes not even as good as a Venator. So it's kind of cool how that works. Um, yeah, we, this is all we get. <laughs> oh, one more X-Wing squadron, and then that's it. So that's going to suck. We're probably going to end up losing a lot of uh, assault frigates. And probably might lose the... Um, MC80. I don't know. Hopefully we don't. Uh oh. Yeah, I don't know if I discussed the fighter thing. Um, fighters are a lot more um, active now in how they pursue enemies. So uh, I think I talked about if you wanna if you wanna guard or if you want a unit to not move around, uh, you just press the guard button now. Otherwise, they will patrol a pretty hefty amount and they will attack the right units. So if they're a fighter, they're gonna attack other fighters or bombers first. Um, and if they're bombers, they're going to attack capital ships and stuff like that first. But they do have a very generous range of pursuing now. So it's good to leave like your fighters on that, um, but your bombers, put them on guard so that they, they'll, they'll still attack things when they get near them, but not a very much smaller range. And you can see their entire fleet coming in, and you can see that their fighters are all kind of like squadroned up. And you can see what's going on here. Uh, this is, yeah, they're defending their, their skip rays with a lot of fighters apparently because apparently I think it's worth it uh, and they also have a lot a lot of these guys which is going to be really tough to take care of considering we have no anti-fighter uh, ships and anti-fighter ships have become super important now um, and just having fighters in general which probably means that I'm probably going to make fighters a lot less expensive uh, considering how how much you need them now. Here we go. Alright, wait, 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 wait. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Let's put on guard. Uh, because we need them to come in first. Uh, oh, there's a ship coming in here. Not defended. That's perfect target for the Y-Wings. And perfect target for the X-Wings right now. Just decimate that shield generator. Here we go. Here we go. Massive fighter battle. Turn on the jamming sensors. Here we go. Holy crap. They have buzz droids now. And that ship is just getting wrecked. Oh my goodness. Alright. Turn this ship around so you can fire at both angles. 
Yeah, yeah, this is exactly what happens now. This, this right here. They do not play around. If you try and leave, you're just going to get crapped on. So, you just need to, like, watch out. <laughs> that Corvette just got annihilated. Oh my gosh, we might actually lose this. Target that acclimator. Turn on all power to weapons. All A-wings, put on jamming sensors. Make sure that they can't get through the line. Make sure they can't torpedo. Here comes their massive fighter squadron again. And our X-wings are just getting deployed again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright. Pull back. Pull back. You're alone. You're a lone target. You gotta get out of there. You're already getting smashed on that shield generator. That ship back there is getting torn up pretty good, but... We don't want to. We want them to keep engaging that because if they come near these fighters, those fighters are just going to destroy them. So, all right, try and kill some things here. Oh, those fighters are already doing massive damage to my ship. Those skip rays. All right, come on, come on. We got to defend. Okay, the Y wings are done with that. So, uh, go over here. Take that out. But the fighters have already picked up their scent. And they're getting destroyed. And our X-Wings are too engaged to do anything. So there go our Y-Wings. They are not dumb, folks. They know what they're doing now. Alright, Y-Wings, go, 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 go. And I love how they're keeping their Venator back as just, like, space artillery. Um, but we can't let that happen. So we're going to push up and use the space station as the primary target here. Keep moving the Y-Wings forward on that target. <laughs> those, those fighters are just relentless now. Here we go. Now they're coming in. Uh-oh. Assault Frigate in danger. Push it back. Bring this Assault Frigate forward. Oh, Y-Wings, Y-Wings. Oh, see, we can't attack this ship now with bombers because they're just way too heavily defended. They, they outnumber us on the fighter department pretty well. Oh, they just, they just gave up the defense. Now we go in and bomb that target. Space Station, all power on the Venator. Mon Calamari Cruisers, all power on the Venator. Soft Frigate, all power. All power, everybody all power. Get the Skip Ray. Get the Skip Ray, X-Wing. Get the Skip Ray. Oh my god. The Skip Rays are just so good now. And those fighters are just going to wreck that X-Wing. Yep. And the Y-Wing just got destroyed. We might be able to survive this if we just keep focusing fire and they just keep coming in like this, but it's not looking good. Our ships are damaged, and they have a shitload of fighters, and their commanders are still up, so that sucks. Blowing up everything. All right, at least one Venator is down, and our fleet is pretty messed up. We've got no shields on all of our assault frigates, so we got to move them back so that they don't get sniped. Our MC-80 is still doing good. But here come the fighters! Here comes the rush of bombers. And that Venator just got taken out good. There's one more Venator out here doing something. I don't know what it's doing. And this Penance Frigate is pretty messed up as well. But these fighters now... Alright, let's bring these Assault Frigates around here. Closer to the space station so that we can give more AA cover. We'll see. Dodonna is, is about to eat it as well. Oh, take out the IPV. Take out the IPV. Come on. You know you can. We have we we definitely outrank that ship. And we're doing terribly against it. Okay. That was close. Alright. Jeez. Alright. Um what can we do here? We have no more fighters and our our buddy Venator is coming in. We gotta rotate this ship. And we need to bum rush that ship as well. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, bring this assault frigate this way. We're going to need the extra firepower against the Venator. And yeah. The Donna's screwed. So there goes that. Come on. Keep turning. Keep turning around. Keep turning around. The Venator's going to get you. Oh, the Genosis pin is Alright. All assault frigates on this target. Hopefully we can just keep off the fighter attack. No, okay, Assault Frigate, get back to the space station. You're going to need that anti-fighter support. You don't want to get wrecked by the Venator. 
Oh, the, the turrets on the Venators, they just know what to fire at. Alright, fire. All batteries fire. Get as close to the space station as you possibly can. Oh, they're falling back! Oh, they're not going to do it! Wait, 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 wait. Don't let them get away. Don't even think about getting away. Fire all on the engines. Yes! Alright. Oh, so close. We lost to Donna, but he comes back. And we lost to Corellian Corvette. But we did kill all that. So that was good. Um, real quick, like, gonna save this. Because that was, that, was, that was insane. <laughs> that was a battle we do not want to retry. Uh, because that was brutal as hell. Alright, there's another fleet coming in this way. And then we have... Ah! Uh, and then, geez, they're still gonna make it in. All right. Um, so they're probably gonna take over this planet. Considering what do they have? Two ATATs and three lats. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, let's try it. I mean, no risk in trying, right? All right, where are we here? Oh, we have a bunch of defenses set up. Hover tanks, get your ass over there. We have a bunch of defenses set up Hoth style. Okay, send the swamp speeders on that. Make the infantry keep moving. We have some more infantry over here. Keep them moving forward. Swamp speeders will handle that or whatever. Oh, come on. These defenses are already going to fall. It's insane. What, what can we do here? Um, move these guys forward. They already took that bunker, so fall back. Took out the building. Good. We have a, a reinforcement point here that's good, so we can always fall back our stuff. And we are going to keep our tanks in the water here. But they're not doing too well. Wow, okay. Move the tanks back. Wow, our, our tanks can't get their shields back. But the assault infantry is doing a good job at repelling these basic stormtroopers. Our assault infantry is now a lot more uh, advanced than the old rebellion troopers. They can sustain a lot more firepower, as you can see. Oh, but they're building something here. That's not good. Come on, tanks. Keep laying down the fire. Also, bring up the swamp speeders. Oh, boy. Oh, they're building up a anti-vehicle structure. It's going to start firing at us. Fire the torpedoes. Oh, there, there. That's that's our that's our cue to leave. That's our, We're out of here. Yeah. Um, hmm. Put all our infantry near the heal stations. Keep our tanks back and keep these skiffs up here. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. Move, 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 move. Move assault infantry, move. Look at them, they're so, they're in uniform. And these rebel troopers are still, like, left over. We don't have the money to, to give them better equipment. Fire at that. Move the rebel infantry forward. All right, all units on this ATAT. -AT. Move forward, men. All oh, two ATATs. Oh my goodness. We have a lot of infantry. Come on. Take out the ATATs. At least one. Kill it. All right, we killed one. Everybody, fall back. Everybody, fall back to the landing zone. Oh, one ATAT turned around. Apparently, okay. Move forward. Move forward. Defend our troops. Another land speeder just came out. All right, move, move, move. 
Look at these assault infantry. Two very well established assault. In uh oh. All right. Yeah, we're definitely falling back. We're getting out of here. Everybody retreat. Everybody retreat. Oh my goodness. All right, we lost the T3Bs, but we, we gained some infantry back, and so they took BIS back, which is amazing. I just love it. Oh, and we made a Mon Calamari cruiser. Yay. We need another ship real quick. Here, uh, I'm going to end this episode real quick. Which ship do you want to see next? Do you want to see uh, the MC-80B um, or maybe one of these other ships? Of course, I'd have to build uh, a space tech. So, I guess your choices are very limited. So, I'm going to ask MC-80B, 75 Barracuda, or maybe one of these other guys, or maybe just spam a bunch of frigates. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. You guys decide the battles from now on and what I build. So, yeah. I hope to see you guys in the next part. See you later.